a product that I would recommend for oily skin would be our One Step Prime. It's a really, really gorgeous primer, and I think if you've got oily skin, you need to make sure you start with a really good base. And the One Step Prime is all about improving texture in the skin, but taking away any of those excess oils, but without dehydrating the skin. Um, and it's a really beautiful primer. It's really lightweight and gorgeous, and it just makes your skin feel super fresh. Start with less. Um, and maybe use your ring finger and kind of like gently pat it around the eye area, like the contour of the eye, and then your fingertip will pick up any excess and lift it off. To prevent your liquid eyeliner melting away in the summer heat, a um, bit of advice, use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black and also the Micro Tip. So you can use the Intense Black to create the shape and the intensity and then use the Micro Tip for that ultra fine detail and those smaller defining lines. Um, but the great thing is, is the formula dries down and then it locks in and it will stay all day no matter how hot you get. So my go-to highlighters for a night out are the Stila Heaven's Hue highlighters. We've got seven amazing shades. My number one shade for a night out at the moment would be Brilliance because it's a gorgeous light gold shade and I've got a tiny bit of a tan at the moment, so I love that. Um, but Kitten is also a firm favorite. Okay, my top three Stila products are um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love those. The formula is incredible. The colors are beautiful and you just can't get better. Um, the Heaven's Hue highlighters are in a world of their own. They're gorgeous and I love them because you can really multi-purpose them. So I use them as eyeshadows as well. The Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. I love that. I use that all year round. No makeup, full, full makeup. It's a real go-to for me. I feel like I might forget that there's actually a human underneath my brush. So I'm a bit like, move, move, and there's actually a person there with feelings. <laughs> beach day makeup, the um, convertible colour dual lip and cheek cream. Um, obviously at the beach you want to wear minimal makeup, so just pop a little bit of that on the cheeks and you'll look super fresh. Pop it on the lips as well. Um, also the stay all day waterproof brow colour, because no matter where you go, you're always going to want to pop a little bit of brow on and um, a slick of huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Just apply less product or start with less because you can always add more. And I think it's so easy to overdo it quite quickly without realizing. So always start with less, see how you go, and then just add more bit by bit if you feel you need to. Because you might end up not actually needing as much as you think. We have created some really cool looks at New York Fashion Week um, with Stila Cosmetics. Um, I wouldn't say they're super outrageous, but we definitely do some really cool things with colour and experimenting with textures and a lot of cat eyes, but using different um, kind of like finishes, like our full finish eyeshadows. So, without obviously seeing your wife and knowing what she looks like, um, the one step correct. That's a good present. And um, one of our um, glitter and glow sets. So to get your skin looking radiant without looking greasy, um, make sure you're using the right skincare first of all. Um, so ensure that you just don't use a moisturizer that's too rich for your skin because that's what can create your skin to look um, a little bit oily throughout the day. But I'd say to use our One Step Illuminate. That's a really beautiful primer because it's got low levels of silicon. It doesn't um, create any excess oils in the skin, but it's got really beautiful um, radiant finish. So you get that very enhanced, natural, gorgeous lip from within glow without looking shiny or greasy. Well, if you can see it from outer space or a mile down the road, then you've definitely got too much highlighter on. Um, I just think highlighter is supposed to enhance those high points of the skin and you shouldn't see it in every single angle and every single light. Um, just you should be able to see it when the light hits and then your like cheekbone should pop. Favourite, favourite shade. This is Tesoro. Um, it's the burnt orange shade and it's my absolute favourite. But I do love all of our shades. They're amazing. But this one is my extra favourite, especially for summertime. Okay, for, for the summer, I love... Um, Enchantress. It's a really gorgeous um, kind of pinky peach tone. Really beautiful for summer. It looks amazing on tan skin. So if you want to create fuller lips without looking 
like you're over overdrawing your lips and to have it look unnatural. Always kind of prep and prime your lip first. So I love our Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. Um, I use this before any lipstick. It's um, a really great way to create a nice base, but it hydrates the lips. It's got hyaluronic acid in, so it's really gorgeous and nourishing. And then, if you want to just naturally enhance your lips, you could either take your lip liner and just gently overdraw your lip, but ever so slightly, just on the cupid's bow and just in the center of the bottom part, and that will give a nice fuller appearance. Um, and also, a good little tip is take a little bit of gloss, a nice high shine gloss, like one of our lip glazes, just in the center of the lips, and that will just create a more kind of fuller pout. Apply it to the root of the lash. Try and get it as close to the root of the lashes as possible. Give it a little wiggle and then drag it through slowly and then move on to the next part of the eyelashes. And then if you want to build, I always recommend doing another coat before the previous coat has dried. Because if it's dried, then it, it, it could clump if you're applying another coat. So I always just like to work on one eye at a time. The One Step Illuminate, um, it, it's a primer, so it's going to reduce your pore size, smooth out the texture of your skin, it's gonna prep it for makeup, so your makeup will sit better and last longer. But the illuminating side of it will give you a really gorgeous lip from within glow, um, so it will shine through your foundation or whatever complexion product you've used, so you get that natural radiance, um, as opposed to kind of like glitter and shimmer coming through. Um, if you've got dry skin or really dull skin, um, it's perfect. It is a um, kind of cream powder hybrid. So you can use it as foundation and you can just work it into the skin and it'll give a lovely kind of undetectable um, airbrushed, very seamless finish. Um, you could also use it on top of your foundation if you just want to amplify the coverage. Um, or you can even use it as like a, you can use the darker shades as a bronzer. So it's a multi-purpose product. If you have any makeup questions for Sasha, send these through to poppy at sila.co.uk with your name, Instagram and location and she will answer these in next month's Q&A.